Uh, what is not perfect with naive Bayes? It seems like a really good classifier. So suppose you had a situation like this. Again, I have my adults and my children, and this, these are my adults and these are my children in terms of whatever two attributes I have, the two classes. So uh, let's see what happens when you start estimating naive Bayes here. Uh, you estimate the, let's say this is the height of, of the black class, and you would get a Gaussian like that. The, the black class, you get a Gaussian like that. Multiply them together, get some sort of a, a, a joint Gaussian in 2D. <clears throat> so let's do the same for the red class. You do the same for the red class, and what you notice is the marginal distributions actually end up being the same. Why? Because there's, there's a lot of points in the center, and there's some points on the left, some points on the right, and, and the distribution is roughly the same whether you're looking, once you project all the points to the x-axis, to, to, to the height, uh, there isn't really any difference between them. Right? And once you do it to the weight, there isn't any difference either. So your estimated 2D Gaussian for the red class would be on top of the black class. And that means that naive Bayes cannot distinguish between these two classes. No matter what you do, it cannot separate them. As far as it's concerned, they're identical. There is no difference between the black and the red, none. Okay. Now, why is this happening? What is the problem? The problem is that what differentiates the classes is not the mean height and not the mean weight, and it's not the variance. It's the covariance. In one case, for the black class, the height and the weight are positively correlated. And for the red class, they're negatively correlated. The, the bigger the height, the smaller the weight seems to be. Right? It doesn't exist in physics, but you know, we can have data like that. Um, so there's positive correlation for the black class, negative correlation for the red class, and that is the only difference between the two classes. Right? Naive base cannot do correlation. Naive, that, it's naive. It assumes conditional independence given the class. So if the only thing that separates the two classes is the way in which the attributes are correlated, it's hopeless. You cannot separate them.